Hello, Drew here with Action Millionaire, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a sign-up form, or how to create a sign-up form using HTML um, in Aweber. So the reason I've, I've done this, um, this method is because I know that Aweber creates a double opt-in when you have an email list and you don't have, and you're first starting out and you don't have a lot of activity and so they'll set up an API setting. So basically there's a double opt-in and people that get your emails, they will, um, they will see that another page come up before your email comes through, basically asking them if they want to receive emails from you. So the way I, I have done this is I actually use one of their signup forms. So it's not actually illegal. <laughs> and it's not actually uh, going against their protocol. So I just wanted to show you how I do this. That way you can get more traffic and get more leads um, added to your list faster. Um, so I just wanted to show you step by step how I learned how to do this. All right, so the first thing you need to do is create a new list in Aweber. And so I, I've created a list here. I just did test one, two, three. Um, and then you want to go to up to sign up forms up here and then create a sign up form for this list all right so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this sign up form or this opt-in where they enter in their name and email and we're gonna make it look like what I have in my funnel. So I just I just made a test funnel, um, nothing fancy. So basically I'm gonna take this and make it look like what we have here in this button. We're gonna use the same wording. So click here to start now. So we're gonna use that same wording in our signup form in Aweber. And we're just gonna make this look pretty close to that button and with the name and email so they can enter that in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete a lot of this stuff. So like the footer, delete all that, delete the footer, um, the header. So we have this, then we're gonna bring this to, um, I like to go to about 427, somewhere in there. So you can actually go up to here and you can, Put it down to what you want. So around there, 427, 430 is usually what I do. And then um, with this, I'll just go to the submit, and then we'll just go to what what that button said. Click here to start now. And we'll position this where it's centered. So right up here, you just center that. Then we'll save that field. Then usually I want to bring this to about 24 so it pops out um, just a little bit bigger. And then you want to change the color to what that what that button looked like. Say it's a yellowish, orangish color. Maybe in there somewhere. Now we can look at this and it's actually more of an orange color. And really you can you can customize this to whatever you want, um, depending on what your funnel looks like and what your sign up form looks like in your funnel. So you want to hit OK. If you don't hit OK, it won't save the color. So we'll just go with that. Um, so next we just save the form. We'll go to step two. And then the form name, um, this is just a test. So I'm just going to do test one, two, three. And the thank you page. So this, 
this is where you would insert either your your thank you page to your funnel or if you are selling a product that takes them to an affiliate thank you page you you could leave it there on the basic version or you can just customize in order to customize in order to take it to your funnels thank you page or to your your offers thank you page you would have to enter in the url here so either your affiliate link um, or the link that goes to your thank you page in your funnel so uh, i mean i'll just put in this link right now for now Yeah. For now, I'll just put that in and then save the form. And we'll just go to step three. So, here is where we are you're going to go up to I will install my form. So that that's going to take that form and that's going to put it into your your funnel in the pop up in the sign up form. So you're going to you're going to go up here and then what you want to do is go to raw HTML version. And you're going to take this whole all this text and you're going to copy it. Then you're going to come here and this is actually set up so that it opens a pop-up so I'll just go up here to pop-up show pop-up and then I'm just going to add an element and then from here I'm just going to go down to the bottom and it says custom JS HTML so I'm going to hit that I'm going to hit that and open code editor and in here we will put what we extracted from Aweber, which is the raw HTML code. And so from there, now that is connected to my funnel and to my sign up. So from there, I just click out of that and then I'll save it. And always make sure you save it because if you don't, it, it won't work. And then there you go. That is how you connect your sign up form through HTML into your ClickFunnel or a funnel that you're using for your sign up form. That way you skip the whole um, double opt in API setting that Aweber has. And that way, when people sign up for your emails, when they enter in their information into your funnel, you will have their email ad address and they will be automatically subscribed. So I hope this helps and I hope this um, gives you a good idea of how it works. Actually pretty simple. Um, just remember to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, see you in the next one. If you wanna take action in your life today, please click the link below in the description. Remember to like and share my video. Please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for future videos.